Hi everybody. So let's discuss that exception handling with respect to constructor and method overwriting. So let's understand through code like how we can handle that. So let me share my screen once. I hope you can see my screen now. Yeah, so you can see like I have created one inheritance with exception package and within that there is some base class which is the super class and then there is a child class. So base class is this one and I've created one constructor also for base class. Okay, and for base class currently I'm not throwing any exception as of now. Okay, and this is the child class which we have created. So child class is throwing IO exception. So let's understand first the three points that we have learned for constructor. Okay, so for what three points we have learned? Like if super class doesn't throw any exception, then child class constructor can throw any exception or no exception. Okay, so this is the first point for constructor exception handling. So let's validate this point whether it's right or not. Okay, so what is a super class? Super class is the base class. Okay, so base class is not throwing any exception. So first condition is validated. Then child class constructor can throw any or no exception. So I am I will test whether I can throw any exception or not. So I have checked with checked exception. Let's try with a runtime exception. Runtime exception, I can very happily write it. There is no exception throwing you can so okay. Or what I can do, I I can not throw any exception. If I don't throw any exception, still you can see there is no error coming in base class. Okay, base class is running happily. So that means first point is validated over here. Like if super class doesn't throw any excep exception in case of constructor only, I'm telling if super class doesn't throw any exception, super class constructor doesn't throw any exception, then child class constructor can throw any exception or no exception. Okay, so this is very important concept. So it's super class constructor. Okay, so it's very important concept. So now going to next concept, if super class throws super class constructor throws runtime exception or unchecked exception, then child class constructor can throw any or no exception. Okay. So this is the second point that you to validate. So let's validate this point, see whether it's true or not. So super class constructor throws runtime or not. Runtime or unchecked. So let's let's throw some unchecked exception, like runtime, any runtime exception it will consider. Throws runtime exception. Okay. So now super class or the base class is throwing runtime exception. In case of child class, if I go. I what I need to throw over here any or no exception so let's validate that I'm not throwing any exception still it's working fine okay child class constructor is not throwing any kind of exception okay but let's uh, throw any any kind of exception let's suppose I'm throwing runtime exception throws runtime exception it's running perfectly fine there is no issue okay let's throw some checked exception IO exception. It's running perfectly fine, right? There is no issue at all. Okay, I'm saving it. You can see there is no issue at all. There are other exceptions that we can see. IO exception, file not found exception, those are runtime exceptions. It's uh, happily taking. There is no issue with that. Okay, so you can see like IO exception is working fine. That means any kind of checked exception or no exception if you throw, it will work perfectly fine if superclass throws runtime exception. This is very important. Runtime ex exception or unchecked exception. Okay. So here, if you see, it is throwing runtime exception. Okay. So now let's go to third concept. If superclass is throwing checked exception of a particular type, then child class constructor will throw the same exception or upper level hierarchical checked exception. This is very important. Okay. So if superclass is throwing any checked exception, let's suppose I am throwing here one file not found exception. Okay, file not found exception is being thrown by this super class. Okay, and the child class is telling it should throw the exception which is higher in hierarchy. You can see IO exception is higher in hierarchy as compared to file not found. So, okay, so you can see like IO exception is here, file not found comes, comes as a child of IO exception. Okay, so if super class is throwing file not found exception which is child of IO exception, then child class can throw the exception is at higher hierarchy. Okay, it's very easily it can throw. Okay, but let's uh, try to throw some runtime exception like index out of bound. It started throwing me compile time error. Okay, so it is not possible to throw that. Okay, so index out of bound unhandled exception type file not found exception. So it is telling that I'm not handling it. Okay, and uh, let's try to reverse it. Let's try to reverse it. I am trying to throw here IO exception. Okay, and from here. 
from child class i am trying trying to throw file not found exception will it be possible see it's not possible okay it is not it, it's directly telling uh, it's unhandled type exception we can't handle it okay because base class or the super class is throwing some io exception okay and i can't throw any exception which is lower in hierarchy i have to throw exception which is higher higher in hierarchy this is very important okay so let's reverse it okay and let's go for this file not found exception so it will work perfectly fine okay so you have to make sure that the super class is throwing an exception which is a child exception of the child class ex constructor throwing exception okay so base class okay, it should be higher in order or same order but not below so this is the concept of handling exception with respect to constructor so now let's see with respect to overriding what is the concept okay so let's validate those concepts so this is the super class so here in super class there is one method okay void method it is throwing some io exception okay then there is a child class okay child class is also throwing the uh, same like file not found exception is throwing it is overriding the method okay this method uh, name is overridden okay so there are three concepts in method overriding also so three concepts are what like if super class doesn't throw any exception then overridden method of subclass can throw only unchecked exception or no exception at all this is the first concept that we need to validate first so let's validate this so if super class doesn't throw any exception so super class i will not make it throw any exception let's see what's happening super class is not throwing any exception now okay so now what's happening over here so now you can see it started throwing me error okay it's not compatible with throws clause okay so what we need to throw as per the rule as per the rule if super class doesn't throw any exception then overridden method can throw only unchecked exception or no exception so if i don't throw any exception it will work fine right and if i throw any unchecked exception only unchecked exception so what are unchecked exception we can throw runtime exception so it will handle all form of unchecked exceptions okay so first concept is validated like it's working perfectly fine now let's work on the second concept which we have learned like if super class throws unchecked exception then child class can only throw unchecked exception or no exception at all so let's validate this point okay so super class constructor is class throws unchecked exception so let's throw unchecked exception runtime exception okay super class method is throwing unchecked exception so now child class method will can throw no exception or unchecked exception so it's happily throwing unchecked exception and if i remove this one it's also working perfectly fine but if i throw some checked exception let's see what's happening it will not allow see it started throwing me compile time error it's not compatible with throws okay so this is this was the concept second concept okay so now let's validate a third concept third concept is what if super class throws checked exception then subclass will throw exception which are equal to or below that hierarchy this is very important so the third point is very important for constructor and overriding perspective for interview point of view i'm telling okay third concept is very important we should know all the concepts first second and third but third concept is mostly asked for constructor as well as overriding concept so let's understand third point super class throws checked exception okay so now super class let the super class throw some checked exception what exception we want to throw let's suppose i want to throw io exception now super class is throwing io exception so what it is telling now subclass will throw exception which are equal to or below that super class exception uh, super class method exception okay so it's below only so it's working perfectly fine okay if i am throwing file not found then also it will work perfectly fine because it's below okay not above let reverse the scenario let's throw the hierarchy of exception which is above io exception okay so if i throw throwable throwable you know is a super class super class exception so it will start throwing me error okay because it will not allow any kind of exception which is more than the child class method throwing exception okay sorry super class method throwing exception so super class method is throwing io exception so let's reverse it okay let's uh, it throw file not found exception and child class throw io exception see it will not allow 
so it will not allow to throw child class method overridden method will not allow you to throw any exception which is higher in order as compared to the super class method which is throwing exception so this was the third point which gets validated all so child class method overridden method should only throw the exception which is the same order as compared or below not above so this is the very important concept so i hope you got the concept that we have validated all the points with respect to constructor and with respect to method overriding so now prepare it okay try to practice it by yourself you will get the idea on it okay so we'll see you in the next topic with the next with a new set of concepts till then it's devji try signing off bye bye